Suppose you have a group of 10 friends. Five of your friends like dogs, three of your friends like cats, and two of them neither like dogs nor cats. Now, can you tell me how many are dogs and cats lovers? Or how many like dogs but not cats? Or how many likes cats but not dogs? Now, several questions like this can arise. How can you solve these questions using sets? Can you? Well, you may never have thought, but cardinal number can be used to solve these type of questions. Now, remember what a cardinal number is? Well, the number of distinct elements contained in a finite set, that is what we call cardinal number. Now, suppose we take the set of people who like dogs as D and the set of people who likes cats as C. So, number of people who like dogs. How many people like dogs here? Five. So, number of people who like dogs are five. Now, number of people who like cats. What are the number of people who like cats? Is three. Now, you know how cardinal number is denoted? So, as we have taken this set as D, we will write it as N of D is equal to 5. And we have denoted the people who like cats as C. So, we will write N of C is equal to 3. Agree? So, the number of people who like either dogs or cats, what will it be? That is number of people who like dogs. Addition with number of people who like cats. That's easy. So, what will we do? We will add the cardinal number of D and the cardinal number of C. That is 5 plus 3, which is 8. Now, that's simple. See, we have denoted this on a Venn diagram, where this is the group of your friends. 5 like dogs, 3 likes cats and 2 like none. Now, suppose one friend joins your group. Now, that friend likes both dogs and cats. So, I can place him here. So, I get 6 people who like dogs. Now, I can also place him here. As he likes cats also. So, we get 4 people here. But, have I represented this correctly? Think. Where do we write the common people? Whenever there is an element that belongs to both D and C, uh, is it written in both the places? No. Where do we write it? Remember intersection? We write it over here now. So, we can write it like this. That one friend who likes both dogs and cats. Now, answer this. Number of people who like only dogs. I repeat, only dogs. That person should not like cats. So, which is the number of people who like only dogs? This part, as this person likes both dogs and cats. So, we will take only this part. So, how many people like only dogs? Five. Now, what is the number of people who like only cats? Now, this people like only cats. What if I include this one? He likes dogs also. But what have I asked you? Number of people who like only cats. So, you have to repeat in mind only. So, three people like only cats. They do not like dogs. So, three people like only cats. They do not like dogs at all. Now, what about people who like either dogs or cats or both? Well, five people like dogs, one likes both and three likes cats. So, we get five plus one plus three. That is nine people. Now, what is the number of people who like none? That is, they do not like dogs or cats. Two people. So, you write two here. So, now you can see how you can arrange people in Venn diagrams over here and see who like dogs, who like cats, who like both, who like none and classify them according to that. 
let's take another example here there is a group of 50 people who either drink tea or coffee or both that people can drink tea drink coffee and some people can drink both now 20 drink tea but not coffee now there are 20 people who drink only tea they do not like coffee at all while 30 drink tea now there may be people who like tea also and coffee also so 30 people drink tea now we do not know exactly how many people drink coffee also from these people so simplifying it we have a group of 50 people that is our universal set now t refers to the people who drink tea and c is a set of people who drink coffee we can represent it on a venn diagram now what is mentioned in our question is 20 drink tea but not coffee that is 20 people like tea or 20 people drink tea but they do not like coffee that is they do not contain this part or you can say this is also t minus c set of elements which are there in t but not in c so these people like tea but not coffee now c refers to the people who drink coffee but here in the question it's mentioned 30 people drink tea that is now some people may drink coffee also among 30 people that is why we have denoted it with this circle as some people drink only tea and some people drink both tea and coffee here so you can visualize two things here people are there who drink only tea here people are there who drink tea as well as tea and coffee now can you tell me about the people who drink both tea and coffee from the venn diagram well let's see so you can see that there are 30 people who drink tea or tea or coffee both and 20 people who strictly drink tea now if i subtract 20 people from 30 people what will i get 10 people now who are these 10 people these are the people who drink both tea and coffee so this is the 20 people who drink only tea and this is the 10 people who drink both tea and coffee and 20 plus 10 gives your total 30 so we are getting it correct so 30 people drink tea and tea and coffee and 20 people drink only tea and 10 people drink both tea and coffee that is this is the intersection part between tea and coffee now we know that these 20 people drink only tea these 10 people drink both tea and coffee so what will this represent people who drink tea coffee but not tea so can you tell me how many people drink coffee but not tea find it out well let's simplify this we know that there is a group of 50 people all together so the total so the total of this will be 50 So we know twenty people drink tea, but not coffee. Ten people drink both. So what will be this people who drink coffee but not tea? So we can say that the number of people who drink only tea plus the number of people who drink tea and coffee plus the number of people who drink only coffee is fifty here. Well, we know two of the answers from this, and then we'll find out this coffee part. Who are the number of people who drink only tea? Twenty. Who are the number of people who drink tea and coffee both? Ten. And what is the number of people who drink only coffee? That is not known, so we let it be C. Now this gives us fifty. Now this is easy to find out. We just have to find out C. So twenty plus ten gives you thirty. So thirty plus C gives you fifty. 
Now what is therefore C is equal to 50 minus 30 which gives you 20. So we get the answer as 20. So 20 people drink coffee but not tea. So you can find out how many people drink only tea, only coffee, both tea and coffee or none by using Venn diagrams.